Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to continue with our API and microservices certification. Um, if you haven't watched the introduction and the first video that I made of this, um, you really should do that because we're going, we're actually using a deployed web app that we, so you need to kind of go through that process if you're going to do it this way. However, obviously adding a description is not going to be that hard. Um, so yeah, I've got, over here we've got our um, PWD, we've duplicated the boilerplate um, NPM project, and if I go add them, I can open it up in my uh, text editor. And uh, we've got the gitignore, we've got the server JS, but what we're doing here is we're still gonna be managing packages. Uh, so the next part of a good package file is a description field where a short but informative description about your project belongs. If you someday plan to publish a package to NPM, this is the string that should sell your idea to the user they, when they decide whenever to install your package or not. So if you um, create a node package, you're going to, the description is going to be like, you know, the sales copy for your, or, you know, whatever, to get people to use it. However, that's not the only use case for the description. It's a great way to summarize what the project does, and just as importantly in any Node.js project to help other developers, future maintainers, or even your future self understand your project quickly. Regardless of what you plan for your project, a description is definitely recommended. Here's an example. Description, a project that does something awesome. We add a description to the project.json file. Uh, remember to use double quotes. So if we come over here and we see in our project.json file, um, I'm going to come at command F to see if we, there's a description in here. Okay, there's not. That's great news. So we're going to call this uh, description. We, description. And in here, I'm just going to say uh, a, this is going to be a web app that showcases, uh, that helps people to learn how the, that teaches people to make people the ability to make useful, to make meaningful contributions to web, to um, software projects, software projects. Okay, cool, so now I've added a description here. Um, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go get status. As you can see, the package.json file has changed, so I'm gonna go get add, and then I'm gonna go, um, and so if I go get status, you can see, you don't have to say get status again, but I'm just showing that it's been um, prepared, and so we're gonna go get commit-m, and we're going to say add a description to the package.json file. Okay, and so now our commit has been made. We can say git status. It's been committed, so we wanna push this. So we wanna say git push. Um, if we do git push, this is going to push our changes to um, the, this, this area right here. It's a, you see, I did that two hours ago when we created it, and now if I go to package.json, you see the description here. It was updated 22 seconds ago. So now we've updated it to um, GitHub. But we also want to make sure that we update it to our Heroku app, the actual deployed one. So I'm going to say git push uh, Heroku master. And again, we get this error. I'm going to have to find a way to fix that maybe in the next one. But the way to overcome that is we say git push head, git push Heroku head master. And so if I do that, then you'll see that it's going to go through a little bit longer of a thing because it's building and then it's saying, this is all the Heroku stuff, node app detected, creating a runtime environment, it's installing the binaries, restoring the cache, installing dependencies, it's building the app, it's caching the build, pruning dev dependencies, so it's checking to see if there's any dependencies it's missing. It says build succeeded, it's compressing, and now it's released. And here you can find your web app live. I think I already have it, yeah, I've already got it there. But now, you don't see any changes here, that would be actually a cool thing if they showed your package, JSON, your, what, your package, the uh, package.json here. Um, but now that we've updated it, we can run it over to here and give the um, professional link that's live. And if we run the tests, that passes. Cool. And so that's how you add a description to your package.json file. Again, episode zero of this is critical for this. If you don't do go through that, you'll it'll be very hard. We're actually deploying a real web app here. So yeah. 
Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.